Hey hello guys in this video I'm going to be showing you all how you can scrape Upwork jobs for completely free of cost and in a very ethical way. So we're not going to be using any fancy scrapers or Appify scrapers doing web scraping or web scrolling. So I'm going to show you the easiest possible method that exists on earth right now to scrape Upwork jobs. So let's get started. So as you can see, yeah now you can see. Okay, so this is the final result of the uh, automation or the scraping that we'd be doing. So although I'm saying scraping, we are not really actually going to be scraping. So what we'd be doing is on Upwork, there is a default option of getting job alerts. You can see right now you've got 18 more days of job alerts. Although it shows 18 more days, I believe it should be showing. I mean, it should be sending me job alerts as long as I'm constantly active and I'm setting I'm sending proposals. So so this is the option that I use right now to get the job notifications, which is initiated directly from Upwork. So you can see this is uh, the uh, feature mentioned in the website of Upwork. So how this works, this is the eligibility, which is you got to submit a proposal to at least one active job on Upwork. Yeah, the, these are just very basic, uh, you know, very basic eligibility that anyone can, you know, get, get that. So once you're able to get this and uh, you'd have the option to receive the job alert basically so for me you can see I can see the notification and you can see I'm getting all these job alerts so I also has have the option to edit the preference so I've disabled mobile app notifications because I only prefer to receive on emails and you can see you can add filters so I've said all jobs or you can mention only hourly jobs or you can say only fixed job fixed price jobs or, or anything as per your preference you can set that up over here and after that what should happen is you should be receiving jobs job proposals I mean the job uh, notifications on directly on your email so I've set up the notification and it, it, they send it directly to my email so what I do then is I just set up a filter within my Gmail where what I do is I just take this email and just see that whatever email comes from Upwork has this new job word in it so if it has new job that means i'm going to add a filter to move it to this specific label at the bottom called upwork and after that i also added another feature of for forwarding the email so once the email is received it is going to get filtered and added to label and also get forwarded to my webhook that i've set up on make.com so now this email is basically sent into our uh, automation which is going to be this one so what happens now is is that you receive it on webhook and it, it would just send you it would just forward the email to you, to the automation so it's basically mailhook so mailhook is by is something uh is mailhook is a webhook used for emails so we use mailhook and after that we i add that text inside this gpt here and added the prompt so you know how to take screenshots or anything so i'll be linking all the resources down in the description so that you can just get access to them right now so you can see that these are the prompts that i've used you can see that i've mentioned to get the name of the job the description the price type whether it is fixed or like an hourly job and after that what is the price and the country the country way the, of the uh, people who post the job and i just give it an email so i could have you know i could have just uh, put both of these into a single gpt which you can definitely do so first i only had the automation to give me the job link and later i just added this extra so i just add you know i just do i just don't want to disturb with this one and just added new so you can feel free to make this into one gpt and at the end i just add it to my notion database so you can see i add the job name and the published date is going to be the current time date and time now for that the pricing type the budget the country the status okay i use three type of status one is spending rejected applied so when i when a new job is added to my notion database it is either of these three so first when a new job is added is it is in pending so then if i apply to the job i mark it as applied so that i just make a track of the list of jobs that i've applied and if it is if i feel that I'm, i don't want this job i just reject it so going back you can see i can go to applied and you can see these are the list of jobs that i've applied recently so I've added filters to do that so I can also add a filter to just say show me the list of 
rejected jobs you can see these are the list of jobs that are rejected so far because i feel they were not qualified and i just rejected them all right so this is the table so whenever a new job is added i've set up like a filter here so i'll also make sure to clone this notion and give it to you all as a template so you can use it if needed so the status i say the status is not rejected lost or applied so what i mean by lost is some jobs you know what happened is i see like too many people have applied to it already or it is too late or i feel that i've missed out on the job i just mark it as lost and after that i say that where published date it could be like the date is yesterday or today or tomorrow so that is how i've set, set it up but right now i've just added made in a way that okay let me change that i said this is yesterday today tomorrow it makes sense no sense to add it tomorrow because for tomorrow no job i mean jobs of tomorrow isn't going to be published today right so i just added it by chance there is any confusion related to time zones or anything so in that case you know that is not just that doesn't disturb it in any way so i've said yesterday today tomorrow so all the recent jobs are gonna appear over here so let's say a job was posted two days before so today is 25th let's say the jobs of 23rd are not gonna appear over here like they just get filtered so i can maybe remove this filter or i can say date is and i can say like set up like a custom date custom date and i can say if i want to see for 23rd i can just select 23rd and if i'm able to scroll to the bottom i should be able to see the date jobs for 23rd you can see we're able to see the jobs for 23rd so this is something related to notion and the knowledge your knowledge to notion and databases but you know that's it for this video because scraping upward jobs can be done in a much simpler and effective way so all you got to do is just create an upwork account and just set up this job alerts you would receive it on your email add a filter and just forward it to a mail hook and then you could just get this use this automation to set up in your notion data uh, notion database so it's as simple as that so that's it for this video guys so please do let me know if you've got any comments i'm always happy to answer them for you so yeah you can read through this i've linked added all the templates that you might need down in the description and also i would suggest you if you're not getting the option so first I'm pretty sure if you're just creating the account on Upwork, you wouldn't be getting this feature. So in that case, you can just keep your Upwork account active, send a couple of proposals, and then eventually you should get this feature. Or else I would also suggest you to upgrade to the freelancer plan, which would cost, I believe, 20 bucks per month. So I'm on a freelancer plan, as you can see right here. I mean, freelancer plus, it is called as freelancer plus. So I use this plan, uh, which, you know, uh, I believe I did have, have this feature before I actually upgraded, but you know, in case you never got access to this feature you can try to get this plan not just for the sake of the job notifications but also you get a couple of other you know cool features that you can try out in to get to win on upwork so so yeah once again thank you so much for taking your time and checking into this so please feel free to let me know if you've got any doubts and see you in the next one cheers